Welcome to the video help series for the Energy Rating Product Registration System. In this video, we are going to show you some basics for filling out your product's application form. Let's begin at the start of our product application form. We've filled in the first page of our form and are ready to move on to the next page. So let's scroll down and select the Save and Continue button. If we have completed this page successfully, we will be able to move on to the next page of the application form. We've successfully moved on to the next page in the form. Let's look at the column on the left-hand side of the form. This column lists all of the pages in the application form. We can navigate back and forth between them at any time. If we look at the link for the previous page, Registration Type, we can see a green tick has appeared next to it. This indicates this page has been completed and the information saved. If no tick appears next to the page, this means the page is incomplete and we need to finish filling in the page. If there is a red or yellow symbol next to the page, this means the system has detected a problem with validating our responses to one or more of the questions on this page. This might be that a question has not been completed, the value we've entered falls outside minimum energy performance requirements, or is out of scope. We are unable to submit our application unless these issues are fixed. If there is a green symbol next to the page, this means that there is a validation message. A validation message appears when the system attempts to validate our answers to each question against the relevant requirements and determines that our answer falls outside expected parameters. However, this does not prevent us from submitting our application, as the product may still be deemed compliant with the relevant requirements. Once we've completed this page, we have two options. The first option, the Save button, allows us to save our changes so that we can check the page for any errors. It also allows us to save the form and come back to it at a later time. The second option, the Save and Continue button, allows us to save our changes and proceed to the next page of the form, provided there are no errors on this page. We can see that some fields on our application are grouped together in light blue tables. Fields are grouped together like this in the system when they are related. Fields may also be grouped together when multiple entries can be provided. Throughout the application form, we will see some greyed out fields. These fields contain information that will be automatically calculated by the system based on information we have already provided at different stages of the application form. The fields will calculate once you have entered the required information and selected the Save or Save and Continue buttons. The values for calculated fields are worked out based on formulas from the product standards. If we need more details on a particular question or field, we can move our cursor over the question mark icon next to the field to get some more information, which will appear in the yellow hover box. Every question in the system will have one of these hover boxes so that we can find out more information about that question or field at any time. The hover box will include details on what information we need to provide to answer the relevant question as well as details on where we can find more detailed information in the product's determination or standard. Hard copy versions of the application forms are available to assist you in gathering the data you need to complete the forms. They can be downloaded from our Help section. These forms are attended for your internal use only. They cannot be used to submit product registrations. Those are just some quick tips for filling in your product application form. 
For further assistance with using the registration system, select the Help tab at the top of any page to go to our Handy Help section, where you can find more videos and step-by-step -step guides to help you navigate any aspect of the system. If you cannot find an answer to your question, why not send us an email? Simply select the Contact Us tab at the top of any page and fill in the form. The more details you provide, the more we'll be able to help you. So please include all relevant details in your email, including any attachments that might be useful.